Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to create a pattern for your face mask in first part and in the second part I am going to show you how to create another lovely and very easy face mask. So for our first part we are going to need A4 paper because I am going to show you how to create your own pattern. Also, you will need a highlighter if you have one, that's great. If you don't, don't worry. You will need a pen, a ruler and the scissors. So let's get started. In this first part, we are going to create a rectangle and it will be 14.5 centimeters and 12 centimeters. I'm uh, drawing it in the middle of my paper but you can also start from the uh, corner but as I'm going to write the measurements on the sides I want you to see better so please create your rectangle then two centimeters from this left corner inside two centimeters mark and four centimeters down from this left corner like this and make a line next 7.5 centimeter from the left corner up make a mark next from left corner bottom one 3.5 centimeter inside and draw a line two point five centimeter up in the right corner and Attach these two points together, draw a line. Next, on the right corner, 3.5 centimeters down. 3.5 and draw a line. 3.5 or 7 millimeters up somewhere here in the middle create a mark and try to make it round from this edge to go up and down then again 7 millimeters here Somewhere in the middle, try to make it as round as you can, then uh, seven millimeters inside here, seven millimeters, and again try to make it round as you can to this middle point and like this and then again seven millimeters inside here and try to make it try to make it nice and round Attach these two. It's super easy and a very quick pattern. So I'm going to highlight it so we can see. I'm going to start here, going down, make it nice and round. up 
straight and inside and then once we put it on the fabric we are going to add our seam allowance super easy pattern and if you need to pause the video for the measurements please do so now and once we got our pattern ready we are ready to move to another step let's cut it out and once you cut it out it should look something like this just before we start i wanted to tell you this pattern is really great for uh, hand stitching or the sewing machines so you choose whatever you prefer if you don't have a sewing machine i am going to show you how to hand stitch this mask as well for today's uh, mask you will need the fabric of course uh, fabric the best fabric is the cotton fabric and you should have two colors the reason for it is so you know how to wear your mask all the time so you should wear your mask the same way so for me i'll be using this uh, fabric for outside with the pattern and for the inside i'll be using just the white one and we will need to cut two pieces uh, with white color and one piece for the outside okay so this is for the fabric if you don't worry if you don't have a, a fabric i'm reusing my bed sheets and uh, the pillowcases so also you can use the t-shirts which are 100 percent cotton because cotton the fabric needs to be cotton because you will wash your mask in a very high temperature and uh, fabric is just the best for the face masks also i have um t-shirts for me i have my son's uh uniform t-shirts they're 100 percent cotton a little bit stretchy so you can use t-shirts as well i'm 100 percent sure everyone's got cotton t-shirts at home and these days shopping online may be a little bit tricky and if you need the mask you just use whatever you have at home so um again use two colors so for, for me i have the stretchy one with the stripes i would use it for outside white one for the inside but in, for my mask today i'll be using uh my pillowcases so this is for the fabric next of course you will need your pattern a tape measure and uh, some scissors a thread if you will be hand stitching you will need a thread of course you should match uh, the thread uh, with your fabric but for me i'll be using really bright red one and the uh, needle to show you how to hand stitch this mask because not everyone's got a uh, sewing machine so i want to show you it's possible to hand stitch the masks as well so not to worry if you don't have sewing machine you are in the right place with me and i show you how to create your mask with just hand stitching also it's handy to have these i think it's called clip i got it from um you know when you buy the bread so we can close your bread bag and this is perfect for the masks as well i done so many masks with this you just um, insert it and now uh, it will sit nicely on top of your nose so it's really really helpful if you have something like this and one more thing you will need if you can't find um or if it's difficult to buy the elastic these days you simply use your old t-shirts so i'll be using my old t-shirt and i show you how to create a string for your mask and it's super easy and i'm 100 percent sure this doesn't have to be 100 percent cotton it's uh this one is uh pretty stretchy so it's got elastin elastin in it but don't worry for the string doesn't matter it's not gonna affect your mask so i show you how to create 
the cord or the strings for your mask from your old t-shirt i'm 100 percent sure you can find old t-shirts so let's create our string just before we start to cut uh, our fabric and mark two centimeters from the bottom of your t-shirt make sure you cut the bottom of your t-shirt off before you start measuring and it will be much easier so let's just measure two centimeters from the bottom like this and cut it out let's just cut it okay okay so once you cut it out you cut this seam off and now you have really nice cord for the string just stretch it stretch it stretch it as much as you can and there you have it perfect for our mask and now uh, for our mask we will need we will need four four like this so for me this is about this is about so this is 90 centimeters long so i have two so i simply just fold it in half like this and I have perfect four strings for my mask white fabric and make sure your fabric is um, the wrong side up so uh, let's place it so make sure this side is um, and draw around like this if you have the pencil you can use the pencil and draw it around Okay, okay and now the seam allowance should be seven millimeters on all three sides and here i will need you to add centimeter and half okay so this should be centimeter and half and all the way around 0.7 or max of one centimeter all the way around like this okay, okay so i cut it out and as we are going to do two layers with one so you should have all together four pieces of white and two pieces of your colored fabric Okay, so this will be our front and this will be our inside of our fabric and all together we will have three layers. Okay, so I marked my wrong side as it is white so we won't get confused and you should do the same. So the wrong side will be marked with the cross so we know. Okay, okay. Just before we start stitching, I would like to show you how to hand stitch. But if you have a sewing machine, that's even better. But I mean, hand stitching is always good. As good as sewing machine. Just sewing machine is much faster. So for those who don't have a sewing machine, not to worry. I am going to teach you how to use this back stitch to sew our face mask and is and it is as strong as sewing machine stitch before we start thread your needle and create 
a knot and I'm going to show you how to do this uh, back stitch and uh, for your mask the thread should be the same color as your fabric so you won't notice uh, the stitches before this video I'll be using the red one so you can see the stitches very well for the back stitch it's super easy you have a knot so you start at the bottom like this bring your needle up and you go forward about five millimeters like this bring your needle out and there you go your first stitch I want you to do back stitch because I think it's much stronger than the running stitch so we'll be doing back stitch for this mask okay so uh, next you from from the back you will go again around five millimeters and you can feel it with your thumb in the front so that should be around five millimeters you can do even smaller stitches three to five millimeters would be perfect and now we are going back into this stitch here so where we started we're gonna go back here super easy stitch and very strong as you can see it's really good i love this hand stitch and again from the back to the front Bring it up and go back. If you have the sewing machine, it's perfect, I know, but not everyone's got sewing machine, so some people may find it tricky create the mask as uh, these days it's quite difficult to find a good mask and our mask will be with three cotton layers let's sew our face mask so for this next part our pieces should be like this wrong side so the face the right side is together and we are going to Take the pins, if you have some, I hope so, and just place the pins and it will help you hold the fabric together. And do so on your other two pieces. So I'm going to show you the hand stitching, but only on one piece. I'll show you on this one as we have the lines. And then you are going to do exactly the same on all three pieces. So I prepared my thread and it's red. So you can see. And I'm going to start right here. and do my back stitch if it's not perfect not to worry at all and if it helps you can also do the lines all the way around your seam allowance and then just follow the line and it will be much straighter this way And continue all the way down until you get to this point here and then I show you what to do next okay. 
and my last stitch here and you can also do one stitch and back stitch so you can also do two stitches at start and two stitches at the end and this way it will be much stronger like this go there and back and uh, finish like this one two and three and create a knot and this is the first part of our mask and we need to do this on all pieces we have right, so once you are done I don't need with the red one but it should be with the white one so you won't see your stitches as you can see you can't see the stitches because the thread should be exactly the same color as your fabric okay so i have my all three pieces ready this one was just my samba one to show you the stitches and let's move to the next step for the next step i want you to cut tiny little cuts around let me just mark it for you so you will see better because when we turn our mask inside out these stitches will help us form our mask much better so we will cut but make sure you won't cut through the stitches that would be disaster so we cut like this all the way you cut like this so you can start from this side you can tell it will form our mask nicely and do so on all three for the next part we will open the seam like this and we will press like so and do so on all three pieces again once you have your seam pressed on all three pieces we can put our mask together so take your insides so two plain colors and this is the wrong side up so we can see the cross then take your second one and they are going together like this so the wrong sides will be together and make sure they are the right right way okay as you can tell this is the top and this is the bottom once you got it together on all sides like this the seams should be together nicely in the middle put it on the side and grab your front and this is the inside or the right side and the wrong side and the inside 
or the right side we'll go like this together and all the seams should be nicely together like this so we will have wrong side wrong side and then right side and right side inside like this and now place your pin in the middle like this and these two should be nicely together as well all three and place your pins here and you can place pins here in the middle and on the other side as well do the same on the bottom and you should get something like this ready for stitching so we are going to stitch from right to left and we are going to do so on the other side again from right to left and leave this side open so i threaded my white one as you know how to do the back stitch already and simply go from one side to another and I'm placing two stitches at the start and two stitches at the end so once you have sewn the top and the bottom of your mask this part is optional if you have this that's great if you don't don't worry or you can use whatever you have and as we had this um, seven millimeters to one centimeters allowance we can place it right between the layers like this okay so to sew it i am going to start from this side and I'm going to do one stitch here and maybe one more just to make it secured on the side like this and then I will go on this seam here like this make sure you don't go under stay on this on your stitches max okay and then i go like this and i come back from the other side so i basically just wrap it and i i do it again like so And it will hold nicely in the place and you can do it all the way and make sure the stitches are very very close to each other so it will hold this clip inside okay when you wash your mask in the washing machine so this, this clip will stay inside and very secure so do as many times as you can and don't go under the seam and once you got something like this i know it doesn't look the best but it's inside anyway so you won't see it and it will be perfectly secured and just finish it with a stitch on the side 
as we started and and create a knot and I promise you it's going to look amazing and it's a really helpful to have it around your nose so you can adjust your mask okay so for the next step we are going to turn our mask inside out and once you turn the inside out you can see the clip is there and you can adjust it on top of your nose and it's looking amazing and now it's a good time to press your mask around and once we do it we are ready for the sides and for the last part all we have to do we are going to place our strings on the sides so in um, this part you have two options again you can cut uh, 14 uh, centimeters long strings and uh, insert them inside and this will go behind your ear but many people don't like it as it may hurt your ear after a while so i like to tie back my uh, face mask okay so for this option one and option two you will do exactly the same well so for the option one you will fold the one centimeter inside like this all the way around and if you want to go with option one with these 14 centimeters strings you place one corner here and one corner at the bottom like so and place your pins and you will stitch very closely to the edge about three millimeters down and make sure you do two stitches here and two stitches here and this will go behind your ear okay and for the option i am going for for the option two you will grab your strings we create it at the start and i show you how to place this okay so this is the option uh, number one and for the option number two you do the same you will fold it inside like this you can press it as well so it stays nicely and you take two strings on one side and two strings on the one uh, on the other side and you place one and here there will be your one string and add the pin like this and then you place one more here like this and place a pin So my black strings are around 30 centimeters long and if you want to go with option two you will place one on the top one at the bottom the same way so you will just tie them at the back so you have this option and this first option also with these 14 centimeters long strings which goes behind your ear so you decide which option would you go for and simply just sew it and don't forget two stitches at the start two stitches at the end and it makes it much stronger and i'm gonna go with this option too as i don't really like 
when is something behind my ear so i'm gonna go with this tie back option okay okay guys do exactly the same backstage on the sides and make sure i started here two stitches here and go all the way to the other side and really close to the edge around three millimeters and this is it once you are done with your sides you got your strings in depends on uh, what option did you go for so i went with option two and this is it super easy face mask with this closure for your nose and you can bend it and it's amazing super easy not difficult no sewing machine needed of course if you have sewing machine great for you but for those who don't have sewing machine this is the perfect video for you and now uh, one more thing i wanted to say please don't forget to wash your mask before you use it for the first time and of course you should wash it every time you go out or after every use in the high temperature that's why the cotton fabric is so good because you can wash it in really high temperature and in the washing machine so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like my video share my video and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more ideas from me sylvia at unique stitch designs thank you very much for watching and stay safe